which turned the the style of literature in english are three great works we discussed the year was 1922 so the works were what the works are the wasteland by t s eliot ulysses by james joyce and jacob's room by virginia wolf these three important works completely changed the literary style of the modern age so you have to remember all these works importantly the major authors we can say one is uh, t s eliot and james joyce virginia woolf now next the major and primary concept literary trend that is imagism the major focus of literature was on imagism so imagism the precursor t e halmi and ezra pound so that much is enough next we have dadaism already we discussed the brutality of, uh, of the world war 1 reflected in the uh, writings of the modern age next uh, surrealist surrealism and the breton he wrote a manifesto on surrealism from this book uh, the term surrealism uh, we discussed that next uh, georgian poetry is there georgian poetry so these are the literary trends and we discussed uh, wb yeats so the nobel laureate in 1923 and he was the leader of uh, celtic revival that is irish literary renaissance and he was the founder of for uh, a big theater which is also called as uh, the national theater of ireland and uh, some of the important works of uh, wb yeats or the wandering wanderings of uh, oisin and uh, the tower poetry collection and easter 1916 an important poem a uh, poem and uh, a terrible beauty is born is a refrain from this next uh, the second coming by most important one the second coming from this uh, we have a uh, one important uh, novel title which is taken from this uh, uh, poem that is uh, you already know that chinwa achieves things fall apart the title is taken from this second coming next uh, uh, we have hector hugh monro uh, his pen name is saki and uh, william henry davis we have an autobiography of uh, super tramp next uh, wh orden Rupert Brooke so soldier's poem <clears throat> so next we discussed the <clears throat> important author T S Eliot T S Eliot is uh, better known for uh, the wasteland and a few more important works those are love song of alfred rufrock and nobel 
Laureate in 1948. Next, uh, Portrait of a Lady. The Wasteland has uh, five parts. You know that, the Burial of the Dead, a Game of Chess, Fire Sermon, Death by Water, and finally, What the Thunder Said. These are the five important parts of the wasteland, the remarkable work in English literature of a modern age. Next, uh, we have uh, some other poems. And four quartets we have discussed, in which we have uh, four parts, Burnt Norton, East Coker, The Dry Salvages, Little Giddy. So these three, sorry, these four parts are from four quartets. You remember this. And we also discussed that he revived a verse drama. T.S. Eliot revived the verse drama. So, so, his verse dramas are Murder in the Cathedral, The Family Reunion, The Cocktail Party, the confidential clerk and so on. Next, W.H. Uh, Arden, so his uh, uh, works are collaborated with uh, I. Sherwood and we discussed the uh, Arden group and Pylon poets, Oxford poets and leftists. So this pylon poets term came from Stephen Harold Spender's poem. So the pylon poets. Next uh, we discussed uh, only we recap important uh, authors, uh, important poets so uh, belong to this uh, group uh, and now we go to playwrights of this age. So J.M. Sinji, so one of the precursors of uh, the Irish theatre. So his uh, famous work, uh, The Playboy of the Western World, the Playboy of the Western World, controversial novel. Next uh, important uh, playwright of uh, this modern age uh, was uh, G. B. Shaw. So he he was better known for uh, his long prefaces. We discussed it. And his uh, place are known as a Shavian place. And his concept is a life force concept, which uh, is included in man and super, superman novel. His place are uh, unpleasant place and pleasant place. Okay. Next, uh, he wrote uh, three plays for Puritans. Three plays for Puritans. This, uh, I think this was missing uh, in your notes. Uh, once uh, you can write that. Number one, three plays for Puritans. Number one, Devil's Discipline. The Devil's Discipline. Caesar and Cleopatra. Next. Captain Brassbound's conversion. Okay, all centers on questions of empire and imperialism, a major topic of political discourse. So, sir, can, can you repeat the place once again, sir? 
place three. Oh, okay, sure. Yes, sir. Uh, we place for Puritans. Important thing about uh, Jibisha, you wrote, note down. The devil's discipline. Eighteen ninety-seven, Caesar and Cleopatra. Caesar and Cleopatra. Eighteen ninety-eight, Captain Brass Bound. Captain Brass Bounds. Conversion. Eighteen ninety-nine. Okay, sir. This is a important. Uh, one asked in the previous questions, uh, examinations, and we discussed Pygmalion. Pygmalion uh, is a famous uh, work by G. B. Shaw, and uh, which was uh, screened, and uh, which uh, uh, turned as a movie, and got. Uh, Oscar prize for him next uh, john galsworthis we discussed the four side sagas and uh, his uh, introduction of drama strife and uh, important uh, uh, play loyalties several times these were asked in a question i think uh, seen okc is uh, uh the june uh, sorry juno and the peacock i think you we are missing once you write seen o k c s e a n seen o k c c a s a y seen o k c okay okay sir okay so next uh, samuel beckett's uh, absurdist uh, plays we discussed Next, uh, Anascos place. We discussed in this MED how to get rid of it, and uh, theater of absurd. We discussed, and uh, mostly look back in anger, which uh, is the uh, cornerstone of uh, look back in anger. This is angry young man movements, in which we have Jimmy Porter character. uh you note down jimmy porter the important character uh, from this look back in anger jimmy porter uh it is a representative novel of uh, angry england movement and uh, next we go to harold pinter harold pinter uh, a uh, wrote uh, screen plays for uh, different uh, uh, novels also we discussed his novels but uh, wrote screen plays for uh, french lieutenant's woman and uh, lost tycoon fitzgeralds and handmaid's tale the handmaid's tale of uh, margaret atwoods this one uh, he wrote uh, a screen plays you just remember that and his place we know that uh, birthday party mm, the room caretaker dumb waiter dwarfs so homecoming all this his novels are known as uh, pinterest novels and uh, most importantly novelists we discussed novelists uh, in which we have uh, thomas hardy particularly under the greenwood tree is uh, first published novel uh, was uh, desperate remedies desperate remedies first published novel and under the greenwood tree that the subtitle uh, sorry title is taken from as you like it and uh, a pair of blue eyes far from madding crowd which is from melegy written in the country churchyard next mayor of the caster bridge and uh, importantly tess of the durbar villages a pure woman faithfully presented next uh, already you you i think you know this uh, uh 
plot of this novel tests it as it is included in jl syllabus next judy the and uh, judy and uh, judy the obscure is a important novel a controversial novel which got uh, negative criticism so this so he stopped writing uh, uh, novels and then he turned into a uh, poetry next is a lengthy play the dynasts important it is uh, written with uh, in three parts 19 acts 130 scenes so it's uh, remembered for its uh, length okay next joseph conrad we discussed he was born in poland spent 20 years on sea and the finest english novelist and so almayer's folly is the first novel sometimes the question may be asked what uh, what is the first novel of joseph conrad do you remember almayer's folly so which uh, starts its narration in borneo jungle okay and uh, uh next one is the the nigger of the na narcissus so nigger of nigger means an uh, uh, abusive for uh, term for a black skinned person nigger narcissus is the ship next uh, the heart of darkness heart of darkness an important novel uh which is a uh, uh a landmark in a uh, colonial novels colonization novels so in this marlow and kurz two characters are there so this is a uh, about in the previous class already we discussed the secret agent and the mirror of the seas you remember one thing if any question appears with the sea and voyage on time if you don't remember anybody you just put uh you can choose this option option a uh, joseph conrad option option uh very important uh, he wrote all about his voyage on the sea only so that you remember and lord jim is important novel lord jim also so this is about uh, the previous day class next uh, <clears throat> so william somerset maugham so the important uh, literary uh novelist of this modern age you remember the grand old man of english literature he is known as uh, the grand old man of english literature so his novels are of human bondage we know that of human bondage do you remember uh in the last 10th class uh, uh, textbook uh, it was there a test of true love lesson have you remembered have you got the idea a test of true love in which uh, lieutenant blandford carries this novel of human bondage a test of true love so uh, in that way you just uh, <clears throat> remember of human bondage actually originally it was uh, planned as a beauty from ashes this point is not uh, there in this uh, you write beauty actually its uh, title was planned as beauty from ashes kindly note down it 
beauty from ashes next uh, second novel moon and the six pens in which uh, six pens lo capital letter ledandi adi small letter cheskondi six pens only moon and the six pens moon and the six pens uh, the year uh, 1919 it was published in which uh, the central character uh, is uh, charles strickland charles strickland it is about uh, a stock broker a novel about uh, a stock broker in which uh, he leaves his family to become he abandons his family to become a painter so to become a painter actually of human bondage is his masterpiece novel somerset magam's masterpiece of human bondage next uh, moon and the sixpence the third novel is uh, cakes and alley or a skeleton in the cupboard a tale sorry its a title is taken from 12th night the title is taken from 12th night okay so the story actually william Ashenden is a character. This character is a fiction writer, author. So, Somerset Magam took, uh, uh, sorry, takes uh, this uh, Ashenden character as the narrator of this novel. You remember. William Ashenden is the narrator of this novel, Cakes and Alley. And he also wrote Ashenden or the British agent. Ashenden or the British agent, a collection of stories. His collection of stories, his collection of stories, is Ashenden or the British agent. Question may be asked. Ashenden, a fiction writer, narrator is related to which of the following authors, which of the following novelists. In such a way you may get to questions. That's why you link this uh, William Somerset Magam to this Ashenden character. Ashenden himself uh, uh, narrator you know, and a fiction writer, author. So, uh, this uh, one more work, uh, The Razor's Edge. It is about uh, the traumas of World War One. The Razor's Edge is about traumas of World War One. Okay? So, the fifth one, I, al I already told you that uh, a collection of stories, Ashenden or the British agent. Okay? Next, uh, detective fiction. So, detective fiction. You write a few lines about detective fiction. Detective fiction is known, already you know that, uh, also known as come, some crime occurs and uh, uh, some detect uh, finds the criminal. So detective fiction plays vital role in modern literature. So, in detective fiction, few important uh, 
authors uh, are there. So in this detective fiction, the precursors, we know that uh, Arthur Cannon Doyle, Arthur Cannon Doyle, a detective novelist, is a better known for uh, Sherlock Holmes. We all know that Sherlock Holmes. So the Sherlock Holmes character includes in four novels and 56 short stories. 56 short stories. With this Sherlock Holmes, we have another character that is uh, Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson character we have. Okay. Next, uh, Sherlock Holmes, a clever detective and uh, Hound of Baskerville. Okay. So, Mera morality through a demonic hound that we know that. And uh, one more important thing you have to remember, frequently occurred question, frequently appeared question that is eminent Victorian, eminent Victorian written by Lytton Strachey, Lytton Strachey, four leading figures are there. You just remember Cardinal Manning, Florence Nightingale, Thomas Arnold and General Gordon. Already while discussing Victorian period, we discussed these uh, uh, two members. One is uh, Florence Nightingale related to Crimean War. Crimean War. Next one is uh, Thomas Arnold, father of Matthew Arnold. Thomas Arnold, rugby chapel, the schoolmaster. Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamp. We all know that, I think. Lady with the lamp. Florence Nightingale. These two, sometimes a question may be asked, which of the following is a... Uh, not uh, um, eminent Victorian. So, in place of Thomas Arnold, he may ask Matthew Arnold. We just uh, catch the word Arnold only. But be particular. Be particular. Here, eminent Victorian is not Matthew Arnold. Thomas Arnold. You remember that. Thomas Arnold. So be particular regarding these four persons. You may get the question from this part. Okay? Four eminent Victorians. Cardinal Manning, Florence Nightingale, Thomas Arnold, General Gordon. Okay? Next, uh, he is uh, a better known for his biography, Queen Victoria, 1921 is a famous biography. Okay? Next, uh, Rudyard Kipling, famous for his novel, Kim, K-I-M, Kim, that was published in 1901. Okay? Set in Lucknow. Actually, uh, Nirad C. Chowdhury, you, know, you have to note this point, Nirad C. Chowdhury, an Indian... Uh, novelist praised this novel as one of uh, uh, the famous novel Kim one of his favorites novel modern day fiction Kim so Nirad C. Chowdhury praised this novel Kim which was written by Rudyard Kipling are you following sir are you writing the missing points please respond yes sir Yes, okay. So, this Kim novel is better known. For uh, Rudyard Kipling, you have to remember if a question may be asked, the question from Kim only, I think. So, if Kim is asked, Neeraj Si Chowdhury, you have to remember. Next, Barrack Room Ballads. So, these uh, uh, ballads were written in a vernacular language. 
so <clears throat> and uh, jungle book so it is a famous book uh, uh, about adventures of uh, mowgli mowgli meaning is a little frog but he is a boy raised by the jungle uh, by in the jungle by wolves so jungle book as uh, this is about uh, <clears throat> the theme of uh, uh, nature and uh, human society the co coordination of uh, man and uh, nature there are the theme is set in that next to the white man's burden the white man's burden about uh, philippine american war this is philippine american war philippine american war so this remember uh, actually it was written to celebrate uh, queen victoria's diamond jubilee celebration in 1897 it was written on the occasion of queen's diamond jubilee okay the white man's burden white man's burden so he supports uh, sorry he supported uh, imperialism as a britisher who was born in uh, bombay supported uh, imperialism so he wrote the people of eastern part or burden of white man so in that way he wrote this novel and uh, he was praised by george orwell as a prophet of british imperialism prophet of british imperialism so his famous a uh, poems are there so those are ganga din and uh, fuzzy wuzzy shiv and grasshopper you have to uh, underline this shiv and grasshopper so these are about ready yard kipling so very important one more thing you have to captain courageous is a novel captain courageous captain courageous remember this a novel captain courageous written by rudyard kipling next h g wells sorry uh leonard huxley aldous leonard huxley aldous huxley so he is better known for uh, brave new world brave new world so science fiction novel and a dystopian novel uh, chrome yellow actually it is a social satire social satire next uh, brave new world uh, the title is taken from tempest it is uh, set in london uh, in the year 2540 ad okay so next one is uh, it this uh, novel is about uh, uh, cloning science cloning cloning so without parents children are born so that uh, you remember brave new world next uh, uh, one more uh, philosophical novel is there the perennial philosophy the perennial philosophy you write down the perennial philosophy okay next uh, david herbert lawrence so a realistic novel the exponent the dystopian utopian already keshavari is a uh, dystopian means bad place sir 
it is about uh, destruction about uh, or destruction utopia means a please peaceful place dystopia means quite opposite utopia dystopia you have to remember this both are opposite so dystopian novels are completely represents destruction the calamities everything which is not peaceful so this is about uh, dystopian novels already keshavar reddy sir in the beginning only beginnings uh, uh, classes only he told this uh, i think uh, this is enough dystopia is nothing but a bad place which is not a peaceful land there we have uh, all the controversies and uh, destructions so that is about uh, dystopian novel so the brave new world is a dystopian novel hmm. and uh, next uh, dh lawrence so the chief exponent of realism during this uh, period actually <clears throat> victorian period we have a uh, uh, in romantic period we have a jane austen realistic novel in victorian period particularly charles dickens and george eliot both are realistic novelist and uh, in this modern period d h lawrence the chief exponent of realism so he wrote uh, realistic novels so his novels are setting uh, set in nottingham uh, nottingham countryside so em foster uh, praised him as uh, the greatest imaginative novelist greatest imaginative novelist of this modern era okay next uh, he called novel as uh, the bright book of life who called the novel as a bright book of life question may be asked like this the bright book of life is a novel by dh lawrence means the quote the bright book refers novel according to the opinion of dh lawrence in that way question may be asked in reverse also that's why we have to keep uh, uh, good idea regarding this uh, worker quote or whatever it may be learn completely so the white peacock so its working title is uh, uh, letitia <clears throat> next uh, trespasser next important uh, sons and lovers actually it has a great story he wrote rewrote re rewrote this novel four times until it gets its perfection then only he when he satisfied with this novel after writing four times then only he went for publication so this is a very good a uh, work and uh, it's uh, originally titled uh, uh, titled as uh, paul morel uh, you remember this it is uh, a psychological uh, novel uh, uh, first uh, freudian novel freud means uh, psychologist uh, because of uh, its uh, oedipus complex oedipus complex gertrude already this character gertrude character is there in in which in a play can anybody say gertrude mother of hamlet ah uh, very good very good hamlet yeah yeah, yeah yeah mother of hamlet okay yes he rewrote hmm that's why so you also read re read re re read to get the complete idea of this literature then only you will get a, a good score in uh, net and set so you will uh, you will be qualified so 
whatever it may be you learn uh, uh, completely and meaningfully you learn next uh, <clears throat> the rainbow so important uh, novel is uh, it represent it, it tells uh, the story of three generations uh, brangwen's family next uh, women in love so here uh, two sisters are there so question uh, brangwen sisters or brangwen uh, family you remember related novels are women in love and the rainbow so next kangaroo kangaroo is a novel when he uh, visited australia he wrote this novel so he called uh, a thought adventure this is uh, when he stayed in australia he wrote this novel Kanga kangaroo next uh, the boy in the bush uh, one of his novels next lady chatterley's lover so it's a controversial novel actually uh, a homosexual novels is novel sir that you remember controversial novel so <clears throat> next plumbed serpent the plumbed serpent so it's a setting uh, is in mexico you remember that next hg wells so father of science fiction science fiction novel sci-fi novels hg wells next uh, the time mission is a uh, important uh, novel time mission the time mission do you uh, can you remember do you remember aditya 369 a time mission a movie have you watched this have you watched uh, aditya 369 balakrishna movie balakrishna movie It is a time mission novel, uh, movie, based on this uh, time mission concept. Okay. And uh, the invisible man, <clears throat> the invisible man, this is H.G. Uh, Wells. One more uh, here, slight difference is there. The invisible man. And one more novel is there, invisible man. Invisible man is a, uh, uh, written by Ralph Ellison. The, the Invisible Man. Invisible Man. Invisible Man was written by Ralph Ellison of USA, America. Okay. The is different. Hmm? So in this way you have to uh, link link the same novel but the article is there not there okay the invisible man the invisible man next uh, the first man in the moon science fiction novel next when the sleeper awakes when the sleeper awakes it is about uh, uh, a man who sleeps for uh, 200 years and becomes richest person with his money he deposited deposited in the bank okay next one point uh, one more novel is there tono bange tono bange t o n o b u n g a y tono bange is a novel it is about a patent medicine about patent medicine okay sir scientific science fiction novel next uh, arnold bennett he is better known for clay hanger trilogy clay hanger trilogy so his novels set in five towns of pottery district straffordshire okay so his uh, novels are old wives tale anna of the five town 
next clay hanger clay clay hanger is a trilogy you write three novels are there first one is uh, hilda lesways hilda lesways next these twain these twain number 3 the roll call the roll call so these three are the novels of clay hanger trilogy as a trilogy tetralogy if you have you have to remember the the whole part the whole uh, three uh, novels you have to remember because the uh, question may be asked to miss to find the missing uh, missing part missing novel in the trilogy so uh, you have to get a good idea regarding this next uh, uh em foster <coughs> edward morgan foster <coughs> so novelist novelist he is he is not a novelist he is not novelist's novelist novelist's novelist so he wrote uh, aspects of novel aspects of novel in which uh, he wrote uh, seven aspects of novel particularly he explained he described flat characters round characters of uh, or different novels so uh, he wrote that where the angels fear to tread so this is uh, its a title is taken from a uh, pope's uh, essay on criticism next uh, a passage to india a passage to india actually it is a backdrop of indian independence movement next uh, our title is taken from walt whitman's uh, the leaves of uh, grass leaves of grass so it is about racism and colonialize colonialism about uh, in depth it is uh, about racism and colonialism and here one point you have to note down uh, regarding partition novels partition novels which are related to indian independence movement indian independence movement particularly partition of pakistan some novels are there uh, several times uh, which of the following is not a partition novel which of the following is a partition novel like this uh, questions are asked so anyway a passage to india is not a partition novel it is it represents indian independence movement and british rule and the relation of india and british that much only so there are partition novels that you, uh, you write down the other side of silence urvasi butalia urvasi butalia it is a partition novel uh, the other side of silence next uh, midnight children it is also midnight children already we know that who wrote this midnight children salman rushdie very good very yeah 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 anyway we all know that but uh, once i have to uh, get from your mouth so i ask okay what about train to pakistan yes yes i am coming sir slow slow one by one one by one ice candy man ice candy man babsi sidwa it is about hindu muslim tensions regarding this partition babsi sidwa ice candy man next train to pakistan train to pakistan by who sir by whom train to pakistan kushwant singh kushwant singh yeah yes 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 kushwant singh kushwant singh yeah 
Pushwant Singh as a partition novel. Next, uh, Clear Light of the Day. Clear Light of the Day. Anita Desai. Anita Desai, diasporic novelist, wrote several novels. She is uh, famous for uh, psychological novels. Cry the Peacock. Hmm? Cry the Peacock is not a, uh, just I, I am giving the work of Anita Desai. Clear Light of Day. Clear Light of the Day is a, uh, uh, these are the partition novels. Several other novels are also there, but uh, I just picked uh, the important authors. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you, Keshav sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Next, uh, G.K. Chesterton. Already we discussed, uh, we know this uh, name, G.K. Chesterton, who uh, coined the term uh, Victorian Compromise. Okay, he is also known as uh, Prince of uh, Paradox. So he wrote uh, two important works. Uh, Father Brown Stories and uh, The Man Who Was Thursday. It is a nightmare, no nightmare novel, a uh, gothic novel, I think. Uh, <clears throat> gothic novel. Next, uh, Stream of Conscious Novels. Stream of Conscious Novels. It's a psychologically uh, moving novel. A fragmented narration is there. Flow of thoughts will go on. And uh, a story uh, suddenly changes uh, from one place to other place and narration uh, uh, moves uh, here and there suddenly. And uh, so we need uh, a little bit of concentration to understand the narration of this stream of conscious novel. So very uh, uh, difficult to understand the no this kind of novels because uh, uh, if you, unless you have the careless, uh, careful, sorry, unless uh, you have the careful uh, reading, you can't understand this. So, stream of consciousness, so psychological novels, uh, and uh, one more important thing, uh, uh, important characteristic of this uh, modern uh, uh, literature is the fragmented nar narration is there. In this modern uh, novel, fragmented novels, uh, narration, so in which uh, 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 stream of consciousness uh, takes place, uh, the vital role. So the uh, uh, stream of consciousness uh, novel, uh, it was uh, <coughs> termed by uh, William James in his uh, Principles of Psychology. So uh, the, its uh, precursors are uh, Dorothy Richardson and James Joyce. William, Virginia Woolf, Virginia Woolf, uh, and several other uh, diaspora novels also using nowadays uh, this uh, stream of consciousness. Uh, it's a technique. It's a technique of narration. What is this uh, stream of consciousness? What is stream of consciousness? Stream of consciousness is is a technique of narration. So, uh, Dorothy Richardson. So her uh, <clears throat> novels. Uh, pilgrimage, so a series of 13 novels. So Miriam is the protagonist of uh, uh, this uh, uh, series. So next, uh, James, Augustine, Aloysius, Choice. Very important, very important. Particularly in modern literature, we have to at least once or twice you re uh, revise uh, W.B. Yeats and T.S. Eliot, uh, Virginia Woolf and uh, James Joyce. At least one or two questions you may get. So that much important this because they completely changed the style of literature of this modern era. So, Dubliners, so is a short story collections and uh, Exiles is only play. These two you have to remember. 
exiles uh, it is given in the uh, uh, number 5 exiles only play you never get confusion uh, uh, you remember one is a play the other one is only play written by uh, James Joyce uh, is uh, this uh, exiles and a short story collection Dubliners it belongs to Ireland so Irish novelist born in Dublin and uh, his pen name Stephen Dedalus Stephen Dedalus and uh, second one is uh, a portrait of an artist as a young man so it is a coming of age novel uh, Countless uh, Roman novel. Uh, it is a uh, it is a growth of a novelist. Yes, it is countless Roman nothing but a novel which represents growth of a novelist. So, so Stephen Dedalus is the hero of this novel. So here it is given already artist novel. Uh, in, in this box it is given clearly it's a subcategory of uh, building this roman uh, <clears throat> next ulysses so 1922 uh, uh, the landmark year of uh, uh, literature modern literature so it is divided in 18 parts like mahabharata in mahabharata we have 18 parts but name manam parvalu antam so you remember that there are 18 episodes to uh, and 18 and of hours time the novels novels duration novels duration 18 and of hours so it's a sequel to the previous novel that is a portrait of uh, an artist as a young man so Ulysses already we discussed a poem by uh, Alfred Lord Tennyson Ulysses actually the oh, hero of uh, Homer's epic poem Odyssey Ulysses uh, uh, tired of his old age uh, he was unwilling to uh, return to his kingdom Itaka, we discussed in the Victorian period. So, once you re re remind, remind it, remember it, you get it, uh, the idea, what, who is the uh, Ulysses of this uh, uh, Odyssey, uh, Homeric's uh, poem, uh, that is Odyssey's Odyssey, uh, it's the hero is Ulysses, and uh, uh, about uh, his wanderings of uh, Stephen Dedalus, Leopold Bloom and uh, Molly Bloom through Dublin city. So Leopold Bloom is a principal protagonist and uh, <clears throat> Molly Bloom uh, is a wife. So Ulysses, uh, there is a comparison is given. It is 18 and, uh, 18 and a half uh, hours and it is a 10 days duration next uh, leopard bloom the principal prota protagonist so in this odysseus so stephen dedalus a school teacher his son stephen dedalus is a son of uh, uh, this uh, leopard bloom and molly bloom uh, his wife so uh, one question was asked uh, leopard bloom uh, so profession was asked in a previous question profession is profession advertising canvasser advertising canvasser and Stephen Dedalus a school teacher and Molly Bloom a singer you remember these professions that much is enough for you and uh, it is when it compared to uh, Stephen Dedalus in the Odyssey we have Telemachus a son of uh, Odysseus and uh, Penelope wife of Odysseus so that much is uh, enough for you uh, about this uh, Ulysses next the Finnegan Wakes <coughs> Finnegan's Wake 1939 novel Finnegan's Wake most obscure novel till now most obscure 
means once or twice if you read you can't understand it most obscure novel so uh, comic fiction in four books okay so father h c humphrey shimpton yervicker mother alp anna livia florabelli and their three children james joyce says this book begins in the middle of a sentence and ends in the same so it is an infinite circle book beginning is the end beginning got a start ayindi malla akkadike vastadi last last line lo last sentence last word malli beginning word tho match avutundi ante ekka nunchi malli start chesthe aa ending nunchi start chesi malli ikkadiki vasta aa sentence form ay atne malli story continue avutundi ana in that way it is a, it is a special characteristic of this funny and wakes actually most obscure language in uh, is there in this novel so very famous novel you have to remember uh, james joyce's uh, important works portrait of uh, an artist as a young man next uh, ulysses and funny and wakes so and uh, dubliner's story collection exiles uh, only play by joycey next virginia wolf so the feminist writer mm, well known for uh, mm, sir sir uh, no it's the clear sir uh, it's, it's give up oh, continue sir continue interruption okay so so virginia wolf <clears throat> uh so <clears throat> adelina virginia stephen wolf full name so virginia wolf uh, better known for as a, a room of one's own her uh, feministic work so a few more important uh, works are there uh, the voyage out so next uh, jacob's room an experimental novel about life and death of uh, <coughs> jacob flanders next uh, in which uh, we have a uh, mr dolave sorry mrs dolave uh, mrs dolave and uh, important novel uh, almost uh, the works of uh, uh, virginia wolf are very important next uh, to the lighthouse next uh, orlando a biography is a is an important novel uh, it is uh, you just underline it the adventurous story of a poet born in the reign of uh, elizabeth 1 and uh, changes uh, sex from man to woman and lives for 300 uh, sorry 3 centuries means 300 years uh, so meeting uh, the key figures of english literary history so it's very important orland a biography 1928 this is important and to the lighthouse important so most of uh, uh, virginia wolf's novels are stream of conscious novels only so a room of one's own uh, is already we know that in which we have a, uh, a woman must have a room of one's own and 500 dollars a year not 500 pounds a year i think uh to write fiction so next uh, mr bennett and mrs ben mrs brown so it's an essay modern fiction an essay so virginia wolf's uh, fictional works and non fictional works we have to concentrate particularly 
so <coughs> so in the uh, to the light house uh, one point you have to note down it has uh, three sections so to the lighthouse a 1927 novel divided into three sections first one is the window next uh, time passes and uh, the lighthouse actually title is to the lighthouse in which uh, the lighthouse is one part so in which uh, each sec section uh, uh, is narrated by various uh, different no narrators okay so this is a uh, uh, to the lighthouse and uh, she is a uh, member of uh, bloomsbury group so bloomsbury group uh, you know that uh, several uh, authors and uh, artists critics painters are included in this uh, group so they are virginia wolf em foster venisa bell toby stephen litton stocky jm keys and uh, clive bell roger fry so these are the members of uh, this uh, bloomsbury group mm, next uh, so literary honors are given some few missing points i want to discuss now you just uh, uh, note them down uh, so one uh, <clears throat> max beer bohm you write uh, this author max beer bohm is uh, better known for his a uh, uh, pen name pen name an american is pen name an american next uh, christmas garland a christmas garland is uh, well known for a christmas garland a collection of 17 parodies a collection of 17 parodies so important christmas garland so he parodied uh, henry james gb shaw ha hardy conrad all the uh, modern uh, novelists and uh, playwrights of this uh, modern era so christmas garland includes 17 uh, parodies about uh, different novelists and uh, playwrights next uh, one uh, one more important uh, author is missing graham greene so graham greene better known for uh, his uh, prefaces uh, for uh, R K Narayan's novels. So, the Catholic novelist, playwright, critic. So, the power and glory. The power, power and glory, uh, important novel, and the uh, Brighton Rock. Brighton Rock. Next. Uh, the heart of matter the heart of matter uh, these three are known as a catholic trilogy under the ni catholic trilogy catholic trilogy so uh, this is about uh, graham greene so ikkada power and glory lo whisky priest untadu and oka character whisky priest whisky priest so important character so remember that and uh, next uh, mm, so 
this much is uh, enough for uh, next uh, Christopher Isherwood uh, one more uh, author novelist playwright and a screenwriter Christopher Isherwood um, already we know that uh, he co-authored with w, uh, W.H. Auden co-authored W.H. Auden uh, already we mentioned there the dog beneath the skin the accent of uh, F6 on the frontier and so all conspirations all conspirations is a, is a first novel all conspirations so that much is enough uh, next uh, so this much is uh, enough for this modern period I think uh, only few minor authors very few no unimportant authors are remaining uh, no need of them uh, their works are not uh, uh, as much uh, as not uh, much importance uh, so this is about uh, modern era so now I am going to ask a few questions regarding this uh, modern era. So you unmute yourself and try to respond uh, answers. Okay. So. Russian spy, the Russian spy, Adolf Verloc is the protagonist of which of the following, which of, which novel, sorry, I can't give you options, but uh, can you say Adolf Verloc is a protagonist of is a Russian spy protagonist of which novel of Joseph Conrad begins in Borneo Jengil Nobody is responding. I am an audible, first of all. So, try to respond. Try to respond. Kangaroo is a novel by Kangaroo is a novel by Yes, yes, exactly. Kangaroo means it uh, uh, Australia. So when he was in Australia, he wrote this novel. So anyway, there is a connection with the uh, Kangaroo and Australia, okay, that is okay. Next, uh, still you are not uh, saying uh, Adolf uh, Verloc, the Russian spy, is the protagonist of agent. The secret agent. The secret agent uh, is a novel by Joseph Conrad, sir. Very good, very good. Sir, good okay. Okay. Next, uh, God is uh, represented as uh, the president of immortal. 
in which novel? God is God is represented as the president of immortal. God is mentioned using the phrase by the novelist as the president of immortal in this novel. विच नॉवेल ऑफ थॉमस हैडी हैज टर्नड हिम टू पोएट्री कैरेक्टर ऑफ फ्रॉम विच नॉवेल जिम्मी पोर्टर टूडे ओनली वी डिस्कस इट जिम्मी पोर्टर एंग्री इन मैन लुक बैक इन एंगर Look back in anger, which is uh, the uh, precursor of the movement, angry young man movement. Okay, the novel. With that novel only, the term uh, was uh, created. Next, uh, partition novel you know the partition novel okay train to pakistan already we know that hmm? so in that way actually mere uh, remembering work and author better you just uh, take uh, uh, the type of novel for example detective fiction so you take that detective fiction and try to uh, note them down uh, important works regarding that uh, uh, detective fiction and uh, suppose a stream of consciences anyway we discussed here but if you want uh, more uh, information uh, that will be better depending on the concept you go on concept based Uh, study is important near author work author work is not at all good and will not be remembered forever so if you go on or uh, reading a particular uh, technique uh, in that way uh, you will get a complete idea or uh, regarding this uh, uh, novels uh, works uh, next uh, barrack room ballads <clears throat> are written by rudyard kipling ma oh, rudyard kipling okay okay rudyard kipling very departmental ditties departmental ditties is also written by rudyard kipling is there in our notes Depart, huh? Mm-hmm. If not, mm-hmm. so you mention there. You write that departmental ditty. It is also ditty. It is also ballad collection. Okay, departmental departmental ditties. So is is well known for a uh, uh, Kim novel. Okay, and. Uh, white man's burden white man's burden so with this uh, white man's burden 
one more uh, novel was written by uh, on reaction of this one uh, the black man's burden was written you note down there in uh, white man's burden you write the black ma man's burden it is a reply to uh, white man's burden by hubert harrison hubert harrison hubert harrison the black ma man's burden black man's burden hubert harrison so jungle book we know that next uh, science fiction novel father of uh, science fiction novel h g wells okay next uh, mm, <coughs> the narration of the novel heart of darkness begins at the narration of the novel the heart of darkness begins on the congo river Can anybody Chinuba answer? Chinuba Ichibi. Chinuba Ichibi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Chinuba very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Super answer. You are on the track. Thank you, sir. Which six novels are related to? Thomas Hardy. Yeah, Thomas Hardy. Okay. Very good. Thomas Hardy. Next, uh, uh, oh, as we have twenty minutes time, better you may ask uh, uh, any queries regarding this uh, uh, session. or a modern period or any missing authors you just uh, otherwise uh, i'll ask a few questions so pravin sir is asking uh, Ravin Kumar sir is asking uh, the term diaspora and who are the diasporic writers actually sir diaspora uh, has a great history diaspora is a uh, literally it is a scattering that mean uh, meaning of the ter diaspora term is a scattering scattering is, is nothing but during the colonization many indentured laborers 
were transported to different countries all over the world by this uh, British people for their plantation to guard uh, their plantation to work in their uh, uh, farms. They transported uh, diff uh, uh, the people of uh, various countries to uh, different people. So in that way, from India also, these labors were uh, scattered by this uh, uh, British people. So there, they were settled. So in that way, they have the origin of India, but settled in different countries. So those people write their novels in English, particularly the Bengal uh, was colonized, mostly influenced by colonization. Many people from Calcutta were transported and uh, many educated people went to uh, British, uh, sorry, London, uh, Britain and America like that uh, places after independent movement also before independence also. So then they stay settled in that uh, uh, country and they write their novels. That means born in India, settled in other country. These people are known as diaspora people. So diaspora writers, Anita Desai, uh, Manju Kapoor and uh, suppose uh, we have V.S. Naipal, V.S. Naipal, uh, settled in Trinidad and Tobago. So these are uh, uh, diaspora novel novelists. Uh, uh, it's a re recent trends. Uh, so many diaspora novelists are there, uh, like uh, this uh, midnight children's writer Salman Rushdie, also diaspora writer. Uh, so there are there are many uh, novelists of diaspora. As for a novelist, the common theme is uh, their uh, longing for their mother country only, their, uh, their common theme. They write about their, uh, uh, their country, their own country, they, they were, uh, their origin country, where they were born. They, they reflected the themes in their novels. So, this is about diasporic uh, writers. I think uh, this is enough, sir. Diaspora meaning is scattering. Scattering is nothing but the people were scattered all over the world. So they they are writing novels about India. So diasporic or uh, diaspora novels. Anita Desai, her daughter Kiran Desai, got. Uh, uh, Booker Prize, second generation diaspora novelist. So in that way, uh, my my research topic, uh, Sunetra Gupta, a diaspora novelist, wrote uh, five novels about uh, uh, different themes, particularly uh, reflecting the themes from India only. Uh, her uh, relation with uh, Calcutta and her education, uh, her marriage, everything was uh, uh, projected in her novels. So this is about diaspora, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> so particularly diaspora literature uh, may be asked uh, uh, important authors uh, who got
got prizes uh, who got the novelist uh, sorry nobel prize suppose like vs naipal and uh, booker prize winning uh, authors uh, who settled in other countries and uh, particularly uh, in case of uh, america we have a uh, one more prize that is uh, important literary prize a um, pulitzer prize pulitzer prize oh this kind of uh, novels and uh, particularly they may ask uh, ask questions regarding the themes the themes related to alienation alienation means uh, they were uh, uh, settled even though they settled in other country their uh, uh, mind is uh, with uh, this native country only so the uh, they the themes reflect so the alienation is the theme of which of the following uh, novels may be asked like this so previously uh, questions were asked uh, longing and belonging is the theme the theme of uh, which uh, novels so diaspora novels automatically because as they leave their country anyway they have the pain in their uh, heart so they project in their writings so uh, Uh, this is a uh, diaspora means diaspora novels uh, some important novels are there we'll discuss uh, in post colonial literature and uh, in post modern literature we'll discuss uh, diaspora literature and the impo- the important uh, uh, works of uh, diaspora literature in detail uh, and uh, oh, don't worry about it uh, in post modern literature we'll uh, clearly uh discuss it and you may get a clear cut idea i think in such a way we'll uh, give you the information don't worry about it hmm. any more sir yes 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 which of the following is uh, not a trench poet a trench poet is nothing but war poet sir war poet trench means war trench poet war poet remember don't leave the question we as what is trench 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 is nothing but war poet trench poet is nothing but war poet which of the following is not a war poet can anyone robert book <coughs> hmm? robert book actually rupert brook this one we are Oh, okay rupert brook not rupert brook sir w h orden is not a war poet remember remaining all uh, and here uh, rupert brook's poem uh, soldier poem is there soldier poem is there so this is very important poem i think one question appeared from this uh, poem soldier poem in gurukula dl rupert brook soldier poem so anyway short poem if you have time once go through it so ah uh, brook sir brook brook ah yes sir sir channer channer is also there in sir Oh, Rupert Chana Chana is original name, ma'am. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, sir. But Chana, sir, I when I read this uh, topic, I uh, put a Chana is a um, one hint to me. That's why W W nothing but war. So Wilfred Owen, W is the war yeah. uh, W war like that. Mm, that's yes, why yes, I confused. Yes. <laughs> ah, ah, okay, okay, ma'am. No problem. Chaser. Hmm. Resembles Chaser. <clears throat> Let us go, then you and I. Let us go, then you and I. Is the opening line from? So second one answer is A, sir. Order. 
Let's go. Then you and I is the opening line from. Anyway, wasteland not the not wasteland because April is the cruelest month. Is the opening line of the wasteland. April is the cruelest month. Option B, sir. B Love song. Love song of J R F. Topics, yes. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, love song of uh, Hardayal written by Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gave one one. Yes. Love song of Hai Hardayal. Not there, but uh, just now we discussed. That is uh, Rudyard Kipling, sir, ma'am. Uh, Rudyard Kipling, love song of Hardayal. Mm, yes. <clears throat> Next, uh, Gokulastami Festival. Passage to India, yeah, yeah, right, right answer. Next, you see, Sir, no man's enemy is written by. Sir, no man's enemy is written by. Yes. Next, uh, <clears throat> in that way, you practice more and more questions or previous question papers you practice. Whatever you learn, uh, whatever you we discuss uh, in this uh, uh, class, you once go through it, revise it, revise it then only you get the idea. So, Keshavar uh, sir. Uh, a few words regarding this session and uh, any message regarding tomorrow's class or oh, you 